Remember, this entire manga and every manga on this channel is hand-drawn by myself. And now you too can learn exactly how to make your own viral Dragon Ball mangas at www.makemanga.com where you can learn directly from me. My mangas have got me on TV, on newspapers and even earned me over $60,000 a month on Patreon alone. And now, you can click the link in the description and pinned comment of this video and do it yourself. You only need to see the website to see just how many thousands of you are taking this opportunity right now. And don't forget also, the next video to this Ultra Vegito series has already been made and is live now on my Patreon right now for over 4,500 of you incredible fans to watch after this. Again, links are in the pinned comment and description. Enjoy! <laughs> so our story would continue quite dramatically, with our hero Ultra Vegito rushing in at full speed, in tandem with the newly revealed Emperor of Sector 3. Both now uniquely sporting two extra arms each, the Emperor creating them from his strange blood-based techniques, while Vegito would make use of Tien Shinhan's abilities. <laughs> and as the two would eventually clash, the four limbs would immediately come into play, as colliding first with their left arm, then their right, then their right second arm, and finally their second left arm. Fist after fist would collide for devastating impact, sounding like gunshots in the air. All the while, with a giant grin, Vegito would proclaim, Well, you may look like a kid, but you certainly punch like a man. Keep it up, demon as the young emperor would just respond with his teeth bared. Of course, you're just as fun as the rumors suggested. And as their battle would continue through the sky, explosion after explosion would be seen rippling along the skyline. As soon, Vegito's smiles would begin to force more into a scowl of adrenaline, as he would find himself exerting more and more effort to keep up, while the youngster, as if showcasing his youth, would still be all smiles. But after one more clash, the two's feet would finally separate instantly, landing on the battlefield at exactly the same time. <laughs> Damn, kid! I really do have to give it to you. You're no ordinary demon, are you? As Vegito, now returning to a smirk, as he would swing his arm stretching, as if just finished with a warm-up, would let out... Uh, You've earned my respect. I didn't expect to find a challenge so soon after Mellow. Tell me, what is your name then? <laughs> you make me blush, mister. As the Emperor, still grinning like a maniac, would also begin stretching comedically. His blood made arms as if actually cracking their non-existent knuckles. As he would mutter out, the name is Kenji, an honor for you to know me by name, God Killer. <laughs> well, nice to meet you, but this meeting needs to be cut short. As instantly now unleashing four God Slayer blades at once, for the first time, all four arms would now be coated in a sinister energy and staring forward as the blood of Kenji would drip down his forehead. He would say, You better have something more impressive up your sleeve 
than that little butter knife. Because things are about to step up a gear, Kenji. Well, show me then! But with his young blood running through his veins, feeling invincible, once more the demon emperor Kenji would fire forward like a bloodthirsty dog, his butter knife in hand and ready to test the god killer. But as he would move forward, Vegito, who just remained stone cold still, stood in place inviting the four-armed monster. <laughs> Show you, huh? As you wish, princess. Just don't blink. This will be over in a flash. But on the god killer's face, it would seem it would all be for good reason. As suddenly looking down at his feet, just like when he prepared to jump from platform to platform in Sector 4, the legs of the few Saiyan would soon become coated by a spontaneous eruption of lightning. <laughs> Again! Until in a ferocious kick, in a flash, Vegito would swipe his leg rather than his arms, splattering Kenji once more into a mass of pure dark blood. His entire shape, color, and presence transformed in an instant once again, splattering partly all over Vegito, much to the God Killer's annoyance. And as usual, as Vegito would descend to the ground disappointed, the rest of Kenji, in his bloody form, would splash to the ground behind him. <laughs> Eventually rising once again, the Emperor's signature grin on full display, just giggling away, whispering, That was fast, but I can be faster, mister. And as the mass of blood would rise behind Vegito. Looking back, the Saiyan annoyed would just respond, uh, huh. Faster? Yeah, and running away. I'm getting tired of this. I thought you said you were going to make things more interesting. <laughs> but just as Vegito's annoyance would build, it would all be shattered as his peripheral vision would soon pick up something far more shocking coming fast from Kenji. I told you I was fast! As in an unsuspected change of scene, the God Killer's skull would then be seen floating in slow motion through the air, cleanly sliced straight off his neck leaving an explosion of blood to unleash from the stump left behind. And all caused by the sudden movement of one of Kenji's blood arms, moving at a speed never shown before. All the while on his face, his signature maniacal grin would continue on. You! How did you... But as Vegito's still conscious and animated face would be in shock, his skull would already then be quickly grabbed by the same bloody arm. <laughs> and not even given a moment's rest, before with tremendous speed, he would then be pulled quickly behind, as the Emperor would retract his limb. Leaving Vegito's now headless body, to just remain standing in the distance, but curiously, still with their God Slayer blades engaged. <laughs> How did I what, mister? Here, come closer and talk to me. As now looking positively crazed, Kenji would then forcefully bring towards him the still open-mouthed and wide-eyed Vegito's face 
right next to him. As the Saiyan would just mutter, That speed! It can't! It can't be! And as he would mutter out practically the same line, still unable to finish his sentence, his voice would grow quieter as his eyes would begin to shut. <coughs> Until eventually, completely closed and in so much damage, not only would blood continue to drip from his open wound of a beheading, but as he would cough too. For some reason, it would seem like the God Killer was already on the verge of defeat. Peekaboo! But of course, in classic style, all hopes of the God Killer's defeat would be dashed in an instant, as revealed as all an act to catch Kenji off guard, Vegito's entire face would begin shining a bright light until... Uh, what? Until unleashing the beginning of a huge explosion. Right in front of the young Emperor, his face and stance frozen, as in a nanosecond more, his entire body would become enveloped in the explosion's expansion. And indeed in the very next panel, as his screen would bring out, a massive stature of fire and smoke would shake the landscape, all behind the still headless body of Vegito, which not only still stands, but had even turned its back. As when we would peer closer, the once spurting with blood stump where the God Killer's head used to be would now be sealed up and instead rising with a pink goo until. <laughs> Just like that, Vegito's entire skull would be reformed back to perfection, without a blemish and not a drop of Kenji's demonic blood on him anymore either. As the few saying would then say, I'm used to losing limbs, trust me. But losing my head? Not bad, kid. Not bad at all. But you should have known. No matter how many pieces you cut me into, each piece will still be stronger than you! <laughs> As back in the distance, where the rising smoke of the explosion would be, a giant mass of deformed blood would be left, sporting Kenji's enlarged face, but with his signature smile now completely upside down. <laughs> That was dirty, mister! As instantly now teleporting in front of the God Killer, now with his body completely reformed, his now angry and annoyed state would be clear to see. As clenching his fists and bearing his knife, he would grumble. All I was doing was trying to talk to you, get closer to you. But you just want to leave. Leave like everybody else! Why? As the smirking back Vegito, looking down while preemptively still having his God Slayer Blades activated in caution, would just antagonize the already angry Emperor, replying, <coughs> Close to me? I wouldn't recommend that, kid. It didn't exactly end well for the last seven emperors before you. But as far as leaving, I'm afraid that's an inevitability once I'm done with you. If I'm honest, you really shouldn't be surprised at all to be all alone down here. After all, you are 
one strange little freak. Freak? I thought you were different, but you're just like the rest of them! As the now triggered Kenji, who clearly has some deep rooted issues with abandonment, would instantly grit his teeth and pull back his blade until. Why won't you love me? Until instantly thrusting his knife straight forward towards Vegito's jugular vein, which of course would be dodged effortlessly. Now able to read the Emperor's movements in his agitated state, as Vegito would whisper, Love you? I don't know what kind of therapy you need, kid, but how about uh, a hug instead? <laughs> as violently bringing out all four Godslayer blades down at once, Vegito would slice right through the body of Kenji like carving a hunk of meat. And for once, finally, without the Emperor's body exploding into a tidal wave of blood, as while in this mentally unhinged state, Kenji would not quite appear himself. <laughs> Why? And as Vegito would remove his blade slowly, the aftermath of the attack would look even worse than thought. It's now looking more like a slinky. The young emperor would now be a mishmash of separating body parts, all just held on by the faintest bits of flesh. And through it all, the crazed child would only still be thinking about why his new friend was so adamant to get rid of him. WHY WON'T ANYONE TALK TO ME?! As suddenly unleashing a blood curdling scream as his body would mutate and darken, uh, <sighs> Kenji would devolve back to a giant dark mass of blood, rising from the ground and growing would begin to take on the appearance of some kind of hand. What the? Oh crap! He's being weird again! And even Vegito, as the size of Kenji would continue to grow and now cast a shadow over him, would begin to panic, thinking his defense might be lowering by whatever mental episode he's going through, but it's making him stronger too! This could be bad! Look at this! As once you would get a clear view of Kenji and what he had morphed into, towering completely over Vegito, making him look like a mere ant, Kenji's body would become three distinct structures with his two eyes overgrown on either side of a giant clawed hand, complete with a mouth in its palm and a drooling long tongue. And within that mouth, Kenji would be muttering, You... You are just like the rest, so you will disappear too. What? And just as the odd child would say this yet again, his blood formed limbs would approach with such speed they would catch Vegito off once more, instantly wrapping around his neck before. <laughs> Wait a second! Before, in an instant, he would be pulled with such intensity and G force, he would be forced to emulate Kenji as his own face would deform. <laughs> and the end result of this sudden pull would be seeing the god killer tossed far into the sky as Kenji's monstrous form would just look on from below. 
We gotta end this soon! You'll only get stronger! And as the demonic Saiyan's body would move up uncontrollably, you would already be anticipating his next move. Deciding to now get this over with sooner rather than later. What? You've got to be kidding me! But unfortunately, when Vegito would eventually open his eyes again, he would once more be coated in the shadow of something large. AGAIN! And perhaps predictably, it would be Kenji's giant blood hand once more. But now, even larger, and stretched all the way up from the ground, and right on top of the god killer, ready to pounce. And pounce it would, as with insane force, it would come crashing down, swatting Vegito like a mere fly, while creating a truly seismic explosion all within the sector. And as all would be said and done, the bloody hand, still dripping, would ease off and get off of Vegito's body. Down at Kenji's feet and arm, it would return. And with it, return the Emperor back to his humanoid shape. As finally smiling again, he would ominously reveal... Well... That's step one done. You're almost on your way out of here now, mister. Be happy. <sighs> but back with Vegito, happiness wouldn't exactly be the first description we would have. As groaning with pain, strewn across the rocky crater his body had been compressed into, he would comment... I was right. That kid can alter his strength depending how upset he gets. I got to take my chance now while he's still smiling. But as the god killer would formulate a plan, as he would casually look around at his surroundings, he would soon notice that within this crater, he wasn't exactly alone. What on earth? As quickly getting up under the shallow surface of the ground, all around him would be several skeletal remains. Skulls, rib cages, bones and more all around him, with not a hint of flesh on them, as if they had been there for millennia. And as Vegito in confusion would look closer at such examples, he would think... All these skulls! Who the hell used to live here before this kid? Was there another species before the demons in the demon realm? Leading him to then grab onto one of the strange skulls on the ground for closer inspection. And as he would feel around with his fingers and notice the two adorning horns as well, he would soon realize exactly what this was, as he would comment, uh, No, these are just old demons. So the kid wasn't lying. There did used to be others here. But why? Why are they all dead and buried while he's still here? Oh well. But not giving it much more thought or care, perhaps naively, Vegito would then crush the skull within his hand, shattering it into a hundred pieces. <laughs> Before immediately, without care, jumping back out of the crater to face Kenji once more. <laughs> and without even a word more or thought given to what he had just seen, the battle would recommence, as both, with smiles, the two would rush back at each other. Yeah! But with Kenji calmed back down, the results would return to how they used to be, 
as Vegeta's first attack would prove meaningless, evaded by Kenji, turning into blood once again. <coughs> Only to then even counter, striking the God Killer on the chin. <coughs> Damn you! And Vegito's final punch, also just instantly splattering through again soon after. <laughs> Leaving Kenji now to reappear in the distance, where he would comment, Sorry about that, mister. Looks like I've got you drenched again. But you didn't want to stay. So I just had to make sure you were ready for step. Two. And as we would then get a closer look at Vegito, indeed, he would be completely drenched in demonic blood yet again. A far cry from his blemishless look after his beheading. As now exhausted and panting from his many missed attacks, he would grumble. Step two? What the hell are you talking about? Is the only way you can actually fight is if I remind you how lonely you are, freak! Because no wonder all I see around here is skeletons! They probably died of boredom the way you battle! Hmm. And suddenly, as if truly these words did actually trigger the Emperor yet again, a sudden rise in killer intent would be felt before... In a flash with unstoppable speed, Kenji would formulate from the actual demonic blood on the God Killer's body, immediately appearing right in front of Vegito, his blade already armed, again seeming like he would be going for the Saiyan's neck. But as Vegito would attempt to move, Kenji's blade would instead just manage to move up from being aimed at the Saiyan's neck and instead manage to nick a cut right on the God Killer's cheek, spewing his own blood for once outwards. And following this, for a brief moment, there would be silence as Vegito would wonder if the attack would carry on or not, and the original Kenji would watch on from behind, silently in the background. <laughs> but looking down, Vegito would then let out cockily, I guess you're upset you missed, huh? Sorry, but these blood tricks don't make you that fast. May have let you behead me once, but it won't happen again! <laughs> Mist? That's strange, mister. Because I think I got you just how I wanted. Welcome to Step 2. As with a sinister grin, Kenji would speak as if he had succeeded in some way simply from a cart. <laughs> Wait! But wondering where this confidence would be coming from, Vegito would soon then notice a bubbling within his newfound scrape, and it wouldn't be Boo's healing. What? As on closer inspection, the blood within would begin to move and levitate out of Vegito's own body. <laughs> what is this? And not only that, but in a flash, the blood on his body and the blood which created the second Kenji would then begin shooting rapidly and frighteningly straight into Vegito's open wound all happening in such an instant that Vegito would seemingly just be left frozen in confusion. <laughs> Damn it! Close the cut! <sighs> and with moments left, Vegito would try his best to then engage his boo healing, 
and patch up the sliced bit of flesh before any more could get in. And with a struggle, he would eventually succeed, as the last drops of blood would splatter off and onto the floor. But even looking at these panels, it may seem like it was far too late. <coughs> no! As now, when we would finally look at Vegito, he would be clean as a whistle. No more blood, no more Kenji. But that would be because it would all be now inside of the God Killer. What? What has he done? I can't feel anything different! Leaving the Saiyan now to open and close his hands, touching his now healed cut, and contemplate what even the purpose of this was. <laughs> As meanwhile, Kenji, laughing away, would curiously begin retracting his two blood arms back within his own body until ultimately they would all be gone, a sign given that the battle, at least in the Emperor's eyes, was now over. <laughs> I knew it would come to this. I can never have any friends, can I? You can leave now, God Killer. Just like the rest of those worms you met. As standing now thoroughly pleased with himself, Kenji would have his guard down, seemingly saying his goodbyes. <laughs> Leave now! But Vegito, now angered in a mixture of confusion and hesitation, would question what any of this would mean, as he would let out with a snarl, I can only leave once you're dead! What the hell are you talking about? And the rest of the worms I met? Kid, are you losing your mind or what? You really are a freak! And you know what? I'm done with this! If you won't fight like a man, then I'll just blow you to smithereens! As now, having lost it, Vegito, in a rage, would swing both his arms behind and... <laughs> at the top of his lungs, as he would attempt to unleash the power beam to end all beams. <laughs> as he would fire, strangely, nothing would come out. Not even the beginning of a spark. No! And as the God Killer would come to realize that his energy isn't reacting the way he commands it to, a wave of fear would come over him. As he would think, That thing he did! His blood inside me! Is this why? And staring into his hands now, all Vegito would mutter would be, uh, Kid, what did you do? Kid, what did you do? <laughs> As when we would finally see Vegito stunned into fear face again, the nightmare would be real. As both his eyes would mirror exactly the same as Kenji. <laughs> Though I hate to see people leave me, I must admit, that scream you all let out before I bury you is always so fun to see. Welcome to my special ability, the ability of the blood demons. What? Blood demon? As suddenly on hearing this, Vegito would finally realize who or what he was facing, immediately remembering the one blood demon of the past and their special ability. As within his mind, an image of Makoto 
the fourth of the five strongest would reveal itself. <laughs> now, to join those other losers down in the ground. I wonder what your skeleton will look like. I'll check back in a few years. As now lifting his arm up, Kenji would reveal what he meant by the others Vegito met, and in tandem, reveal also just how they all disappeared and ended up buried. As on the Empress signal, sand from the ground, which had been drenched in blood all throughout this fight, would then begin to move by Vegito's feet until... Uh, what? I... I can't move! With the Saiyan's body now supposedly petrified still, controlled by Kenji, the blood-infused sand would quickly rise to surround the God Killer. <coughs> no! Until ultimately enveloping Vegito completely, closing in on his entire body, only now his face visible. No! As when all would be said and done, Vegito would be left, lifted into the air, encased in what could only be described as a sad coffin. Oh dear, another day, another goodbye. As the pleased Kenji, with his eyes closed and a smug look, as he would slowly raise his right hand up, would whisper, I gave you so many chances, so many chances to just talk to me. If you had just been a nice person, maybe, just maybe, I would have let you kill me and be on your way. Oh well, another few hundred years to find a friend shouldn't be too bad. Farewell. You freak. As suddenly closing his hand, Kenji would be finally done with his speech. And just like that, in one last horrific display, the solid mass of sand would crumble inwards, and bursting out of it would be the blood of the God Killer. Crushed instantly by the force of a demon emperor leaving Kenji to just stand now with an umbrella made of his own blood as the droplets of red rain fall endlessly to the ground, seeping in with the sand once again. And as the scene after some time would then shift to show rain still pouring over a now flat landscape, the fate of Ultra Vegito would be unknown until... Out of the ground, a hand would emerge. A hand without a glove. As first the head of someone with spiked black hair would then struggle out, followed by a shoulder, and then followed by some legs. All before... <coughs> Kale Khalifla. In a shock turn, the warrior leaving the ground would not be who he thought it would be, but instead, Kaba, the Saiyan protege of Vegeta from Universe 6. His arm missing. Is this the demon realm we're still in, or is it somewhere else? <laughs> But that was it for today's video, guys. And if you made it this far, leave me a hashtag Kaba in the comments down below and let me know what Lucif is doing in this preview. Or just find out now on my Patreon where you can see the full next video, fully voice acted, soundtracked, and edited for you to enjoy with over 4,700 other fans, as well as getting access to. 250 plus other fan mangas too. It's the deal of the century. <laughs>